Welcome back guys. Today we've got something a little special. As modelers we're always getting adverts for different tools and things like that so I thought I'd show you my latest purchase and we'll have a look at it and see whether I think it's worth the money. So stick around and we'll see what we think of it. So this Vortex mixer that I've purchased, um, I saw a lot of other ones advertised for a lot more money. Uh, just got this Vivo brand. Uh, took probably four or five days for shipping so as you can see the instruction manual was fairly basic um, seems to be packaged quite well take the foam out I'm sure that'll come in handy somewhere else so here we've got the mixer uh, they do advertise this as a a lab tool However, they also advertise that you can use it for paints, mixing paints, uh, tattoo inks, uh, all different types of inks. So we've got the actual base unit. Then we've got the power cord. This thing is very compact. Get into that. So it presents well, seems fairly sturdy. Uh, the silicon tip looks quite nice. You can feel the pressure switch when you touch on it. Now they do advertise that this uh, takes about 30 seconds to mix a bottle. Of course they also give us a test tube, not that uh, that will come in any use in the near future. But I'll get rid of this box. So the whole point of this is to uh, get a good mix on our paints, make sure they're consistent, things like that. Um, my workbench here isn't normally the desk that I'd set it up on. But uh, we'll put it right in the middle here and see what you guys think. So it is 240 volt, which is good, not having to worry about it being charged and things like that. We can just leave it hooked up. Use it when we're ready. Right, oh, no, so we're all plugged in. Give it a bit of a. So it's very pressure sensitive. Um, you can feel it wind up. So here we go. I've got a uh, bottle of model color acrylic here, red leather. Um, as you can see, it's. I bought this in a weathering set and I haven't used it yet, so it's been sitting flat in the weathering set like this for probably the last three, four months since I bought it. So we'll give it a go and see how it shakes up. So it seems to be fairly consistent. I've watched a few different war gamers that use these, shake them from both ends. So we'll give that a bit of a go. And it looks like we've got a nice mix here, which uh, saves my arm a lot. So I might just put that to the side and we'll pull out the wet palette and have a bit of a look at the consistency of the mix. So we've got that initial little blurt because it is a brand new bottle. Let's grab a brush here. So the pigment seems to be very consistent. Um, I can't really floor it. It's shaking it really well. And took no effort at all. So in my opinion, guys, this is a good buy. Um, I bought it on an Australian website, it cost me just under 60 Australian dollars, uh, did have free postage, so like I said, it's about four or five days to deliver it, nice little handy unit, doesn't take up a lot of space, so you can just tuck it in the corner, have it sitting there ready to go for uh, when you need to mix up some paint. So my thoughts guys are it's, it's worth the money. Um, I'll put a link in the description below just in case you are interested but for the sake of having an extra tool it's just going to save you an extra few couple of minutes 
I think it's well worth the money. If there's any other tools that you guys know of that you think I should look at investing in, please let me know in the comments below. And as always, uh, like and subscribe to the video so you can continue to follow me on this journey as I explore different things. And thanks for joining me. Have a good day. And as always, spend some time at the Matterbench. Have fun. I'll talk to you next time.